Excellent work, gentlemen. Every word of the message is correct. This will go by air freight shipment 743, Loma Toy Company, Buenos Aires, Argentina. Top row of the shipping carton, seventh box from the right. Clear? Yes, Mr. Caber. Ah, good, good, good. Excellent. Go on. Dr. Liscombe, I am honored. What do you want with me? Nothing very much. A single missing piece in a very complicated jigsaw puzzle. The X Factor. I don't know what you're talking about. Certainly you do. I'm talking about the greatest deterrent weapon ever invented. One that makes the H-bomb as obsolescent as a bow and arrow. Only one element is still missing. And you possess it. Up there. The X Factor. I want it. Mr. Kaber? That's where it stays. Oh, we'll get it, never fear. And much more in years to come. You are a very valuable acquisition, Dr. Liscombe. You'll get nothing from me. You might as well kill me right now. Kill you? My dear man, I wouldn't dream of it. You're too valuable to my country. Bring him along, gentlemen. how I can possibly smuggle anyone as important as you out of the country. I'll be delighted to show you. Activate the conversion tank, please. No! No! No, no, don't worry. There's no pain involved. of the sea. Starring Richard Basehart. David Hedison. Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea.
In the clear, no code. Who is it? No name given, sir. He said it was concerning the X Factor. Pipe it into my private speaker at once. Aye, sir. Switch over. Admiral, Dr. Liscom has been kidnapped. Liscom? Who is this? I work for Captain Shires, Office of Naval Intelligence. Liscom was visiting your institute. He was nabbed right outside and brought here. Here? Where's that? Where are you calling from? I'm using the only shortwave transmitter I could reach. I'm in the private office of... Oh, go on, whose office? Hello? Hello, are you still there? This is Nelson, do you read? Are you still transmitting? Come in! This man was obviously a U.S. agent. How did he manage to get into our employ? I'll start a thorough investigation at once, sir. Rather late for that, isn't it? Another slip like this could ruin our whole operation. It won't happen again, I assure you. The radio voice identified itself as Admiral Nelson. This transmitter must be tuned into the Seaview frequency. Sir, the name of Captain Shires was mentioned by this man. Shires, yes. Dangerous man. Where is he now? Here are the uh, latest reports on the movements of U.S. counterintelligence. Pacific Theater, this one. At the moment, he is at the Pearl Harbor Naval Base. Alert our Honolulu office. If I know Nelson, he will shortly pay a visit to Pearl Harbor. Unfortunately, they must both be killed. Yes, sir. I'll attend to it at once. Unscramble. Shire speaking. Hello, Admiral. George, I got some bad news. Dr. Liscom has been kidnapped. Liscom? That is bad. Oh, wasn't he right on the verge of wrapping up the big project? Liscom is the project. His knowledge is the key to everything. How did you get the news? An anonymous call, but I think it was one of your agents. We were cut off before he could tell me where Liscom was taken. Cut off? Scratch one good agent. I'm afraid so. But uh, what about Liscom? What's our move? Can you pick me up here? As fast as I can make it. All right, now I've got some checking to do. I'll try to have a report for you when you get here. End transmission. Forty miles due east. Very well, get the flying sub ready for launch and alert Chief Sharkey. He'll be flying in with me. Aye, sir. Chip, get on it. Aye, sir. Now hear this. Chief Sharkey will lay up to the control room on the double. Flying sub duty watch. Make ready for immediate launch. Roger. Understand. Will your traffic officer notify Hickam Tower. Okay, 
Flying sub, over and out. All clear? Yeah, we got clearance to land at East Lock. Uh, we can tie up at the sub base there. Mm. Sparks reports they've landed at Pearl. They're with Captain Charles. We're to continue on a course to Santa Barbara. Very well. Keep me informed, Chip. And hold her steady as she goes. All right, sir. Definitely, but a sophisticated one. We still haven't come close to breaking it. Where'd you get this thing? I intercepted it on a tip from one of our agents. There's a big spy ring operating inside our country, and this is the first real lead we've had on it. Uh, I'm not sure I know about the man who called me. Was he one of your agents? Well, I'm still checking, maybe several days before I know. We can't wait that long. It may be a matter of hours. Once they get Liskam out of the country... Well, there's not much chance of that. I've already put out an alert to every customs officer in the country. I don't want to rate these people. You know, they may find a way. Haven't you got any lead at all? Just one. Now, this is a pet theory of mine. But if I bring it up to headquarters one more time, I'm liable to be laughed out of a job. I never felt less like laughing. Now, what is it? Every year, uh, the Caber Toy Company. A toy company? Mm -hmm. you, you mean the uh, people who made this? Right. Now, I know it sounds wild, but think of this. No business in America works with tighter security. Now, you see, coming out with a new toy first can mean millions of dollars. Yeah, go ahead. Well, it always struck me that a place like that would make a darn good cover for espionage. Now, I've worked on it. Even got a man into Caber Toys. Could be the agent that contacted you. He, uh, he said he was calling for a private office. It, it could be the, the toy company. Yes, but we'll never know until we get inside. Yeah, but that's not much to go on. All, all the solid evidence you've got is that. It's the best I can offer. All right, George. Let's have a try at it. Come on. <laughs> Admiral, we're in trouble. Frankly, I don't care. Nothing matters very much unless we get to Liskin in a hurry. How about this Caber outfit? It's more than just a toy company. They they do a lot of high security work for the government. Scale models, that sort of thing. Well, well if we make an accusation we can't prove, we'll have 16 different congressional committees down on our heads. Worry about that when it happens. Now, what's your plan of attack? Barge in and surprise caber. Accuse him outright if we have to. 
keep our eyes open. It's not much of a plan, I grant you, but... You got any better ideas? Not at the moment. Let's just hope it works. Amen. What's wrong, Admiral? I don't know. I seem to have lost control. Admiral! The gyro stabilizers. Chief, how's the hands? Oh, okay, just a couple of burns from some hot wires. The doc fixed me up all right. Man, that was a close call. Oh, uh, I was a little worried. No? Huh? Well, the Admiral was. In fact, he still is. Then was it a deliberate attempt on our lives? We didn't exactly advertise that flight. That's true. Not many people knew about it. It, it could have been an accident. It couldn't have been. The whole flying sub was checked out before takeoff. The gyro panel couldn't blow itself up. All right, then it was sabotage. What now? Well, we'll have to forget the original plan. I propose a, a direct frontal attack. Meaning? An official visit to the Caber Toy Company. And I do mean official. Advance notice, full uniform, armed escorts, you know, the works. I don't know. I usually prefer the element of surprise. So do I ordinarily, but this is no ordinary case. Now listen. We both got top security clearance. And Caber, as I mentioned, does a great deal of top secret work. Now, if it's an official visit, Caber will have to show us everything we want to see. And if he cooperates? If he cooperates, he has nothing to hide and my suspicions are groundless. And we've still lost Liscom. And I don't know what else we can do. All right, we'll play it your way. I'll get a message off to the Institute, have a limousine waiting for us with a full security guard. We're going to pay an official visit on the Caber Toy Company. I'll get right on it. We'll have to uh, notify Caber, of course. Hmm. I'd give a lot to see his face when he gets the news. Nelson coming here? Impossible. We're not going to open our gates to every U.S. government mission that wants to come snooping around. 
European headquarters suggests that you accept the Nelson visit. You have no choice. Hmm. And what does European headquarters suggest I do with them? They don't say, sir. Beyond cautioning you to accept the official visit. Otherwise, they feel we will only attract American government attention to our operations here. Hmm. All right. All right. I will accept the official visitors. However, that's a very dangerous drive between here and Santa Barbara, isn't it, Henderson? Yes, sir. If you say so. I'll attend to the arrangements at once. <laughs> One-third. Slow to one-third. Aye, sir. Repair to service. Blow all main ballast tanks. Depth. Ninety feet, sir. Very well. Service. Captain, you ready to put on the big show for cable? Ready, willing, and able. found so far no no those are the two motorcycle guards yes we can identify them yes well can you close off the area and keep out the sightseers mr. Morton lay up to the admiral's quarters on the double aye aye sir I'll get our own men over there as fast as possible yes So, well, I just talked to a highway patrol officer. Our official caravan never got to Cape Toys. What happened? Well, right about here, according to the report. They were attacked, and they went off these cliffs, right here. And they landed down in this area. The Admiral? I don't know yet. Has Sharky left on shore leave? He's getting ready to. Well, stop him. His leave's canceled. All shore leaves are canceled. I want him to take this detail and start searching the area. Aye, sir. Here, take this. The Admiral. I, I don't believe it. Actually, we don't know anything yet. Not even if he's alive or dead. It's your detail, Chief. Round up the men. Yes. Hey, Chief, come on, let's go. Those chicks, uh, they don't like to be kept waiting, you know what I mean? What are you made up for, sailor? Get out of those civvies and get in uniform. And if I hear one wisecrack out of you, just one, you're on report. But I thought we were going to go Just on. knock it off and get the lead out. What did I do? Your men play with some realistic toys, Gaber. You're a very lucky man, Nelson. I'm glad you think so. Such a tragic accident, and so unnecessary. If you had only kept your nose out of my business. Just what is your business, uh, Tabor? I sell happiness for young and old. Now, look here. Where's Liscom? What have you done with him? This is one of our most popular export models. We don't sell any here, but they're very popular in certain European countries. You still haven't answered my question. What should I know about Liscom? <laughs> a 
Among other things, you're a very bad liar. You kidnapped Liscombe. He's probably somewhere on these grounds if you haven't killed him as you killed Captain Shire and the other men. My dear sir, why should I kill such a brilliant man as Dr. Liscombe? Oh, then you do admit that you know him. Who does not know of Dr. Liscombe? Then you don't deny these murders. Would you believe me if I did? No. Then why should I bother to deny them? I'm sure you're insane. And in a few hours, you're going to be under arrest. Indeed. On what charge? Murder. Espionage. Ah, I don't think so. After all, there are no witnesses, you know. You're forgetting one. Not at all, Admiral. Not at all. I keep you in mind at all times. Ship. They've identified Captain Shire's body and a couple of the guards. All pretty badly burned. That's all? So far, uh, details still out there searching. No sign of the Admiral? None. Not yet. I'll be in the Admiral's cabin. When the detail comes back, have him report to me there. Aye, right, sir. Here's a little novelty number from which we expect a great deal. Clever, isn't it? How long do you expect to keep me here? Oh, not very long. You surprised me, Admiral. I thought you'd be asking all sorts of questions about cable toys. Well, I'm sure you'll tell me anything you want me to know. True, true. Here we have an ideal cover for espionage. A lively import-export business in the most innocent of commodities, toys. We even do a certain amount of top-secret model work for your government. Yes, I think we're about ready now. Bring him in, Henderson. A surprise. A friend of yours. Dr. Liscombe. What have you done with it? What? Our friend Liskum is alive, even conscious. You will make a beautiful toy for export. Once within the borders of my country, he will be revived. Certain drugs, certain brainwashing techniques, and he will tell us everything he knows. What's more, he will eventually work for us for the rest of his life. Now, Admiral, I will take you on a tour of the plant. I will show you things about the toy business that will astound you. Right this way. Let us begin with the shipping department. We went over the whole area, the, 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 the road, the cliff, all the way down to the beach. We even took the wreck apart. Wipeout. Yeah, everyone in the party is accounted for. Except the Admiral. Then they took him alive. Took him where? I bet it's that cockeyed toy factory. That's just my guess. Oh, man, would I like to bust in there. That's just what I'm going to do, Chief. Well, you just point us in the right direction, Skipper. Wait a minute, Lee. We can't just bust in there. We don't have enough evidence to lower the bomb in that place. We've got plenty of evidence, but no time. Now, call the ONI and report this. Unless we get to the Admiral right away, he could be dead. Let's go. Don't stand there with your teeth hanging out. Jump! Get me through to the Office of Naval Intelligence. Top priority, urgent. Here we are, Admiral Nelson. To me, this is the real heart of the Caber Toy Company. The conversion tank. Conversion tank? Something new with us. A unique concept. I'm sure you can guess as to its function. I think I can. Actually, the mechanical process is very simple. The subject is wheeled in there, the tank is activated, and the subject is paralyzed. At the same time, 
His flesh is covered with wax-like substance, which gives him the appearance of a mannequin. Of course, the unique feature of this process is that the subject never loses consciousness. His mind is alert and aware, only his physical functions have been arrested. This makes it easier to revive him and at the same time begin the process of brainwashing. But enough of theory. Wouldn't you care for a demonstration? Uh, no, no, that won't be necessary. I, uh, I accept your statement. No trouble at all, I assure you. Stay away from the fence. High voltage. The service entrance must be around on the other side. why I was so willing to show you so much, Admiral. It is information you will never be able to use. I'm really delighted with the way things have turned out. Soon you will be on your way to my country. And in the long run, you will prove even more valuable than Dr. Liscombe. <laughs> something wrong. I don't care what's wrong. Get this thing over with. A party of men hijacked one of our trucks. They were passed through the gate before warning was given. They on the grounds now? Security is alerted. We'll find them. Come on. The best laid plans of mice and men, Caber. The intruders will be found within a matter of moments. Don't you worry about a thing, Admiral.
Boulevard. Drop those gun belts. Combing the entire compound. We're wasting too much time. Let's get on with it. Sorry, Admiral. The cycle had to be reset. It will take a few moments. That's all right. Don't hurry on my account.
somewhere in the underground complex. Get that power back on. We've got plenty of tear gas. Smoke them out. Chief tracked down Caber. I want him too. Right. That's the end of the Caber Toy Company. To say the least, the entire spy ring has been broken. So they couldn't play without their toys. How's Dr. Liscombe coming along? Well, he's fine. He'll be back at work in a few days. Was he really conscious all that time? He was completely conscious, except he couldn't move a muscle or make a sound. And uh, he told me that a line from the speech of George Washington kept running through his mind. The freedom of speech may be taken away. And dumb and silent, we may be led like sheep to the slaughter. Mm. 